A nearly 2,000-page environmental review of a proposed Enbridge Energy oil pipeline was released today. As Mel Meyer reports, the Minnesota Department of Commerce report used concerns made during the public commenting period. The draft environmental impact statement is broken down into 13 chapters, 17 appendices, and two technical assessments. They can just read the executive summary if they want to, or they can go to specific chapters. They don't necessarily have to download the whole file. The Minnesota DOC used the concerns it received during the public commenting period to create the draft. This one particularly is a corrosion dig. Enbridge says it needs to replace line three instead of repeatedly fixing the nearly 60-year-old line. This increase in our maintenance program has an impact on the landowners whose land we cross to access the pipeline. The draft EIS took this into account and, in part, looked at the impact on putting the new line in an existing trench. Much of the construction workspace overlaps with previously disturbed areas that were used previously for pipeline construction. But a large majority of the document released today focused on the potential for a large and small-scale oil spill. James Wren says he's concerned about what it could mean on a waterfront property like his. The Line 3 is developed. We would have pipelines to the south of our property. And if any of those leak, the potential would affect our property values. Rents is petitioning to become one of the parties for the rest of the proceedings in front of an administrative law judge. I don't think we can risk the waters of the state for that kind of enterprise. For Jordan Morgan, he says he's most concerned about the long-term effects on the climate that this project could have. My generation, we're going to have to deal with those ramifications our entire lives. While becoming a party in the proceedings is a long-term commitment, the public can comment on the draft during 22 public meetings throughout June, which can eventually affect the decision to issue a routing permit. It's really the best opportunity for landowners or uh, average citizens who have a stake in this project to really have their concerns heard. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The first public meeting will be held in Bagley on June 6th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.